Hello and welcome to our introduction to Dr. Hak Jahan Moon, The Marriage Blessing, and True Peace. I'm Tyler Hendricks. Our first episode is Peace Starts With Me, but where does me start? We all seek peace, but conflict is destroying this beautiful earth and its people. Something is wrong with this world. We can't let this happen. Dr. Hakshahan Moon is showing God's way to change wrong to right and build peace. Dr. Moon does not rely on human knowledge and effort alone. With her late husband, Reverend Sun Myung Moon, she has initiated a global movement that brings us to a new level of attending God. For peace to start with me, I have to attend God. God is the center of a universe that displays design and energy. It also exhibits male and female, ultimately man and woman. God is the origin of these. God created the first human ancestors in his image. We know them as Adam and Eve, and we all descend from these ancestors. What were Adam and Eve supposed to do? Well, all living beings go through a growing period, reach maturity, and then multiply. This was Adam and Eve's path too. But as God's children, they were unique because they had a part to play in their path to maturity. It wasn't just instinct that would bring them there. They were responsible to follow God's commandment, which was not to eat the fruit. The fruit symbolized sexual love. Their obedience would have brought their mind and body into oneness, which is true maturity. Mind-body oneness is where peace starts. At that moment, God would have given them the holy marriage blessing. With their spirit and flesh one in love, God would have dwelled inside Adam and Eve. They would have become the first true parents, God's only begotten son and daughter. They would have formed a true family and all humankind would have been born in peace. Tragically, during their growing period, Adam and Eve left God. An evil entity called Satan represented by a serpent, tempted them through selfish sex. This act became known as the fall. They developed greed and became slaves of their own physical desire. They lost true love for God and for each other. This caused the world we see today. The conflict between good and evil within us gives rise to all the conflicts in the world. Dr. Moon explains that God sent his only begotten son, Jesus, to change this. We'll talk about that next. Thank you for listening.